hello, 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 everyone. So today, this is a random, random study. Uh, let's give it a maybe a two hour or one hour for uh, doing another study. So this is a study for AWS. So a question. 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 A developer is planning to use a lambda function to process incoming requests from an AWS from an application load balancer. So this is question number eleven. An AWS uh, developer, and this is the developer, is planning to use a lambda function. function to process incoming requests so from an application load balancer so application load balancer goes in here and then the developer wants to use the lambda And how can this be achieved? So the options are create a target group and register the Lambda function using the AWS CLI. Create an auto scaling, set up API. You know. Yeah, we'll create a target group. It should be a target group. son is crying again then this will be targeted by a application load balancer and our lambda function will be like put into the target group so so that is number one question uh, our answer is one answer Number, question number 2012 uh, a developer is troubleshooting problems with an with a lambda function that is invoked by Amazon SNS so there's a lambda function function that is invoked by SNS so so, oops. so the Amazon SNS like poke or invoke the lambda function and repeatedly fail so it keeps on failing how can the developer save discarded events for the for further processing um dead letter q yeah uh number uh, the answer is two should be a dead letter q so we'll check the answer later so question number 13 A company will be uploading several terabytes 13 yeah company will be uploading several terabytes of data to Amazon S3 so several terabytes going to S3 AWS or Amazon Amazon S3 so data data terabytes of data what is the simple solution to ensure 
that the data is encrypted before it is sent to S3 while in transit. So uh, use yeah number one. This one. Use client side encryption with a KMS managed CMK. So CMK uh, customer managed master key and SSL that is managed by KMS. Right, so question number 14. The company is setting up a Lambda function that will process events from a DynamoDB. Okay, so from DynamoDB. Processed by the Lambda function. The Lambda function has been created and the stream has been enabled. What else needs to be done for the solution to work? Uh, create an event source, an event source mapping between an alarm. Uh, update the cloud permission. Event source mapping must be created on the. Uh, yeah, where are we going to? We have to set an event source mapping. So an event source mapping must be created on the DynamoDB side to associate the DynamoDB stream with the Lambda function. Hmm. No. An event source, yeah, event source should be from the Lambda side. Should be created on the Lambda side and associate, yeah. Should be three. All right, so let's check the answer. Let's check our answers. This is two, this is one, this is one. Okay, so let's go and check our answers. Doo -doo -doo. Question number 11. Doo -doo. Okay, question number 11. Where? Okay, a developer. Let me see my answer here. Okay, so. A developer is planning to use a Lambda function to process incoming requests from a load balancer, application load balancer, how to achieve it. So it's the answer what is one, you can register your Lambda function as a target and configure a listener rule to forward request to the target group from your Lambda function. When the load balancer forwards the request to a target group with a Lambda function as a target, it invokes your Lambda function and passes the content of the request to the Lambda function in JSON format. You need to create a target group which is used in request routing and register a Lambda function to the target group. If the request content matches a listener rule with an action to forward it to this target group, the, lo the load balancer invokes the register a Lambda function. Yeah, this is correct. <laughs> Okay, uh, 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 question 12. A developer is troubleshooting problems with a Lambda function that is invoked by Amazon SNS and repeatedly fails. How can the developer save discarded events for further processing? Answer is 2. Uh, two. Yeah, so we are also correct here to configure a dead letter queue. You can configure a dead letter queue on AWS Lambda to give you more control over message handling for all asynchronous invocations, including those delivered via AWS events, S3, SNS, IoT, and etc. A dead letter queue saves discarded events for further processing. A dead letter queue acts the same as on as an on failure destination in that it is used when an event fails all processing attempts or, or expires without being processed however a dead letter queue is part of a functions version specific configuration so it is locked in when you publish a version on failure destinations also support additional targets and include details about the functions response and the invocation record you can set up a dead letter queue by configuring the dead letter config property when creating or updating your Lambda function. Okay. You can set up dead letter configure. Okay. So you can 
set up the dead letter config property when creating or updating your LAMDA function. You can provide an SQS queue or SNS topic as the target ARN for your dead letter queue. Uh, okay. And AWS Lambda will write the event object invoking the Lambda function to this endpoint after the standard retry policy. Two additional retries on failure. This is, host is exhausted. Right, so dead letter queue. Number 13. A company will be uploading several terabytes of data to Amazon S3. What is the simplest solution ensure to ensure that the data is encrypted before it is sent to S3 and walls in transit. So the answer is one. Yeah, we're correct here again. Client-side encryption is the act of encrypting data before sending it to Amazon S3. You have the following. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so this is correct. Use client-side encryption with a KMS, manage CMK, and SSL as the correct answer. Right, so number 14. A company is setting up a Lambda function that will process events from a DynamoDB stream. The Lambda function has been created and a stream has been enabled. What else needs to be done for this solution to work? Answer is three, so I'm correct again. We got a perfect score. An event source mapping is a AWS Lambda resource that reads from an event source and invokes a Lambda function. You can use event source mappings to process items from a stream or queue in services that don't invoke Lambda function directly. Lambda provides event source mapping for the following services. Okay, so you can make a Event source from KNS, Alkinesis, DynamoDB, and SimpleQ service SQS. An event source mapping uses permissions in the function's execution rule to read and manage items in the event source. Permissions, events, structure, settings, and pooling behavior vary by event source. The configuration of the event source mapping for stream based services, DynamoDB, Kinesis, and Amazon SQS is made on the Lambda side. Note for other services such as Amazon S3 and SNS, the function is invoked asynchronously and the configuration is made on the source. Huh? Rather, the, okay. Amazon S3 and SNS, the function is invoked asynchronously and the configuration is made as the, on the source. Wow, okay. So it's lambda function. Lambda. S3 and SNS. So the configuration is on the side. But for Kinesis, Kinesis, DynamoDB, DB, and SQS, configuration is on the side. So this is say this is the event source okay set up point my event source this is my event source going here but for s3 so yeah so this will will say will emit goes then you will select the lambda function so for sns symbol when something happens here you invoke the lambda you select lambda but for here something you if a, something happens in dynamo db it will it will uh, trigger the lambda you will configure it here okay <coughs> event source mapping okay so that's it we got a perfect score four out of four baby four out of four so we're gonna go uh, we're Oh, well now ready to face the other things that needs to be done in life for today. Right, so, Rich, Rich. Mm.